Chatty tutorial. So I will be telling you what's been going on in my life. But you probably already know it. But I'm gonna be retelling the whole thing while doing this beautiful autumn -y makeup. So let's jump into it and if you want to see this, keep on watching. So we're gonna start this and I'm gonna be telling you the products and also gonna be talking about what's happening. I'm using the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer as a base. So since the last chatty tutorial, which was the summer chatty tutorial, it seems like it was ages ago though, it was July I think, so since then I've graduated from college, you probably, if you've been keeping up with me, you probably know everything that's happened because my summer, <laughs> I'm a very boring person. Uh, but yeah, so I've graduated and moved to the UK, so if you've been watching my videos, you probably already know that. So now I'm gonna use, that was like an illuminating base, so now I'm gonna use a Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, Poreless Priming Perfector. And I usually don't like um, pore perfecting primers, but this one is so good. It's almost like invisible and just gives you, uh, it's very lightweight, it just gives you a very matte, but not like unhealthy matte. I don't know, it really works. And it probably, this came in a goodie bag, I think, and if it hadn't come there, I probably would not never try this. But I swear by this now, and I love it. So yeah, give it a try if you don't like the usual silicone-y uh, pore perfecting primers, but you do need to perfect those pores because that's, you know, yes. So, um, yeah, so I moved to UK, to the UK, and a lot of people in the vlog actually uh, were asking, why did I move? And um, there's not really much of a reason. I just wanted to, honestly, I've wanted to uh, move out of Portugal since I was a little girl because it's a beautiful country, but it just doesn't have the opportunities that I think that I need in my life. I like things, I like really big cities and um, the opportunities that come with them. So now I'm gonna mix my Arborian BB Cream. This is a travel size. Um, and my Caudalie Vino Perfect, these are the lightest shades of them. Uh, this is lighter still than this. And I'm kind of, I still have a little bit of my tan left. Yes, this is me, a little bit tan. Uh, so I do want to mix it with the Caudalie one, so I don't get very, like, paled off. Uh, so yeah, summer is good. So after graduation, I kind of didn't do anything, I just chilled out. Um, no, I went to Mexico with my boyfriend and you have a vlog of that as well. So I kind of chilled out with my family because I knew that I was probably going, but coming here soon. Uh, I just chilled out with my family the most that I could, uh, you know, to make up for all the times that I've missed in the future. And I kind of actually got to see almost see my baby sister go to college and I didn't get to be there when she uh, got sell settled in in her new apartment but I did see the apartment beforehand and it's just it's so many emotions it's just so grown up and I you know it just <sighs> she's so little how can she be so big fills me with all the feels then I moved here. Uh, the reason that I moved so quickly, because I don't have a job yet, in case you're wondering, because a lot of people were asking again, a lot of people were asking why I moved. Um, I don't have a job yet, but my boyfriend did get a job, so I moved with him. So I'm now currently looking for a job. And I'm gonna use my By Terry Terribly Dancerless Concealer in the shade Fair. Uh, so yeah. Looking for a job, uh, I don't exactly know what I want to do. I mean, I know that I want to do something uh, that is related with maybe marketing, uh, social media, content, or something because you know it's just something I'm good at and that I actually enjoy. Um, I did, in case you didn't know that, I did have I do have a fashion degree, uh, and I wouldn't mind working in fashion, but not in like the design part of fashion. It's just really exhausting. I don't get the fashion industry. I love fashion, but the industry, but but the industry just seems really broken to me. And I just no. 
if I'd work in fashion, it'd be for a very independent brand. And even then, I mean, the repetitiveness of being designing and then doing the technical drawings and doing, doing that all over again, just, I like, I really like the creative part, but then the technical part really bores me to death. Everybody keeps badgering me, like, what are you gonna do? Have you got jobs? Have you got interviews? How so? How's life? How you paying those bills? And it's all very, it's very nerve-wracking. And I'm already a really anxious person. When you add to the mix that I have to go to interviews and I have to talk to people and most importantly, I have to socialize and mingle and I didn't say what I was using. This is the Klaha waterproof eyeshadow for the eyes and I don't know why I jumped to the eyes because I haven't concealed my face yet but I'm gonna do that next. Yeah, so I have to socialize because nowadays it's really important that you have connections and I suck at talking to people. So yesterday I went out with a friend of mine and she was so excited, she's like, you're gonna have the best time, my friends are so um, outgoing, they'll make you feel right at home and they were amazing, they were really outgoing but then I'm just like a lump of I don't know. I'm a potato. It's just not my scene. I don't know. So now I'll be using the Zoeva concealer palette, and mine is all messed up. I'm not gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna use uh, my. I think my regular shade is this one in the middle. But um, I'm gonna use because I'm a little tanner now. I'm gonna use this one mixed with this one to cover my blemishes. The concealers are really creamy, and they're. They're long lasting. They're they crease a little bit under the eyes, that's why I don't use them under the eyes. But I guess that if you do powder them correctly, they don't as much. Uh, so even here you do have to powder them, otherwise they will just not last as long. But if you do powder them, I really like them and the color match for me, I mean I can play around these and except this one. And it's pretty good. So uh, it's just sad that they don't have more shades of this palette because, you know, it, it is probably not going to be for everyone. They are very pigmented, very creamy, very easy to use. So now we're going to go into those eyes and I'm going to use Makeup Geek's eyeshadow Frappe. And this is one of my most used eyeshadows ever and I really like it. So I'm going to be doing kind of a halo effect. I left in London. I really like London. Uh, I have a few friends here, a few Portuguese friends. So last week we went to the McFly anthology dates, the London dates, and it was it was amazing. So now I'm gonna take the eyeshadow Bitten and I'm gonna darken it. These concerts with uh, not boy bands, but, but bands that have boys, um, they can't get pretty rowdy, especially in Portugal because we're very loud and very passionate um, it was a really really wide audience and at the same time everyone was just really singing really loudly and just pouring their hearts out and I I love McFly they're my favorite band ever then I'm gonna go with cherry cola which is even darker and just go on those I'm just gonna clean that up with a clean brush and fluff it around. I'm just gonna go under the eye and I don't have my regular brush for this, also in Portugal, so just bear with me. I'm gonna try to flatten this to not get it as chubby. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Palette and, and I'm gonna use this right here, which is Pink Heart, which is a white highlighter with a duochrome pink shade. And I have swatches of these on my blog. I had them up this week and I also, I'm gonna put this, I don't know if you noticed, but I put up um, a new blog. So I changed the name, I redesigned it and changed the name to my name. And now I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow and peach ones that you know I adore and just go over that. Give it a warmer touch. And I'm gonna also do my inner corner. Finally, I'm gonna get my Laura Geller baked 
swirl, uh, just a lot of swirl eliminator and just go with my pinky. Smart. Dipping into cherry cola, I'm just gonna darken those already dark parts, just a touch. So now both eyes are done. I'm gonna apply my mascara. This is Benefits, they're real. And this is, I think this is ending, actually. Two coats of mascara and now we're sitting pretty and doing our eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the shade Granite. Which is like an ashy brown, kind of a Just to finish those lashes off, I'm gonna go in with my Stellar Little Black Primer as a top coat. Bringing it to the back again, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I'm gonna use Oiva's Contour Spectre Palette, which is new as well from them. And, and with my Real Techniques Contour Brush, I'm gonna go into this lightest contour shade. And I forgot that I haven't powdered yet. So I'm gonna powder with my lovely by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I don't have my blood, my powder brush cleaned, cleaned, washed. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. So what else can I tell you? Uh, you've seen my apartment, right? What do you think? I'm living a little far from from central London, but my area is actually pretty cool and I live in like a gated community. And I have a guy now who gets my packages. Isn't that all that a girl wants? And also, I'm losing my fucking mind over Amazon. Like my car on Amazon is the size of the world. Going with the Laura Gear Laurel a little bit and eliminating. You can also eliminate with the pink heart from the eyeshadow. I just think it's a bit maybe too much with these eyes. What do you think? Going now with the Zoeva Nude Spectrum Blush Palette. And I swear this is not an ad for Zoeva. I just really freaking love the brand and they are coming out with some amazing stuff. So I'm gonna mix these two, which are 10 and 20. And just give it the old swirl. I'm going very nude on my cheeks. And I'm gonna finalize this with maybe a crazy little thing. So I've been obsessed. I've been obsessed with freckles. And because I don't have freckles, I've been putting out fake freckles and I um, actually want to get better products for this but from for the time being I'm using I'm actually dipping I have these color pop pencils but mine has got a bit hard so it's kind of hard to get the color on so I've been using this uh, concealer this dark concealer from the Zoeva concealer palette and just faking it like a mofo and I've honestly been considering faking freckles, tattooing fake freckles. And I know that it's a thing, and I know that it's crazy, but I really want to do it. Is that totally bonkers what you think? Do you, would you, would you like, do you think it's too much? Because I honestly love freckles, and I've been getting a lot of compliments since I've been wearing my fake freckles everywhere. But at the same time, when I, I, I get home and I take them off and I'm just so sad. And also, if you have like a, a few acne scars, I think if you like freckles, you should give them a try because they can actually really help, you know, take the focus off your acne scars. I'm not focusing, so I'm doing them too large. Like, look, you know, I know that I'm no pro, 
But I think you get better at it because I've definitely been worse, but I will want to perfect this technique even more. Just like it. I love the freckles. What do you think? Do you like seeing me with freckles? Now I'm going to finish this up by applying a liquid lipstick and this is Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. I bought this on my trip to Mexico and I've been absolutely obsessed. I've been using it all the freaking time. And I'm gonna spray it! This is the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist that has also gone up on the blog uh, as a review with the uh, primer. Oh, it smells really good. It smells kind of like hairspray, but, but good. Is that a thing? So this is my finished look. And that is pretty much it. That's what's been going on with me. So do tell me if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know fun things to do in London and what you'd like to see from me next. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Always follow me on Snapchat because that's where all the fun is at and the darkest stuff is at. So I guess I'll see you next week.